My name is Jordan Atkins-Lorian, from, uh, originally from Berkeley, California. I'm a new to Chicago, been here for almost two years. I started producing music when I was 12 years old. Uh, I joined a program called Youth Radio, so I started by making hip hop uh, from 12 to 15. And I switched over to electronic music, and that's what I've been doing for the last five years. Uh, I'm 20 years old now. Um, I found out about this contest through my manager. I think he sent me an email about it. He was just showing me the opportunity. I checked it out. It looked awesome. And the songs that we ended up having a remix were wonderful. I've always wanted to remix TV, so that was really special. It was fun. I mean, 15 minutes isn't a lot of time, but it ended up being a lot more fun than I thought. I packed a lot of songs in there. It was a good vibe. The crowd was really happy. Everyone, I. Everything about this contest was great. All the contestants were really close. There was no negativity, and it was it was a really fun night. My name is Paul Blair. I'm DJ White Shadow. I'm from Chicago for the last decade, but born and raised in Detroit. Uh, I started DJing because I went to a lot of parties when I was a young kid in Detroit. Saw a lot of techno stuff happening. Uh, DJs on the radio in Detroit are live, so I got to hear a lot of DJs when I was a young kid, like slinging pieces of Little Caesar. So like I thought it was an interesting profession, and I did it. DJing has been my full-time job since I was 17 years old, so I don't know how I make it work. It just keeps happening, and I just keep taking checks. It was awesome. Like I mean, unusual format. 15 minutes isn't a long time to get on. The best thing about it is that through the, throughout the competition, like we. Uh, did uh, a lot of different stages and you know you submit your thing and then you get taken to the next stage and I don't know 40 people I guess were in the next stage and so one of the guys in the competition reached out to me and he said my remix was cool and like we ended up talking and then uh, he's from LA and I was from here so we ended up talking and um, we got along really well and we got to meet today and we got a cool vibe so we might work together later and even though he's ugly and has crazy long hair in a stupid accent. I think that we might make good tracks together in the future. Any one under contest from me, which is really hard to do. So, I congratulate that dude. My name's Jeremy Malvin. I DJ under the name Professor Purple. I'm from Pittsburgh and I'm currently at school in Ann Arbor. I picked the name Professor Purple just randomly freshman year of high school. I thought it sounded badass. I still think so. I don't really remember how I found out about the competition. I think I was just planning on going to Lollapalooza, surfing the web, and found the Lala Twitter or something. Ended up coming across the competition. Thought I'd give it a shot. Didn't think there was any chance I would get this far. Going through the stages was pretty fun. I just set up lots of Facebook events and bothered all my friends and family a lot. I made sure they were voting. And, uh, I thought. I thought I was done for in the last round when I wasn't near the top four in votes, but thankfully the judges liked my remix and everything worked out. And I'm here and I'm having a fantastic night. Playing tonight was so much fun. I I feel like I haven't had as much experience as a lot of the other people doing this competition tonight. Being able to play a gig for this many people at such a cool venue was such a treat. So I really enjoyed myself. DJ name is just my own name, Craig Williams, from the uh, last place I lived with Sydney, I'm now living in LA. I uh, started playing in bands, like punk bands, a while ago, and then just progressed, started uh, listening to dance music when I worked in a bakery, actually, and then from there just got really interested in it, really got interested in the production side of things, and just thought I'd give that a go, and thought I could uh, Give DJ a go. Yeah, I, I entered the competition with about three days to go. I told like a bunch of friends um, to, to vote for me. I had all of about six votes compared to the, the leader, which was at about 1,800 votes. Um, I didn't think I was actually going to move until the next stage. I just thought I'd give it a go from there. Again, I was down on votes. Oh, I had about 150 compared to White Shadow, had about three and a half thousand. <laughs> yeah, and, and I made it through the top four. I had to ring Danny a couple of times to confirm that I actually made it to the top four and that I should actually book flights to Chicago, which was a bit of a surprise. And yeah, I come to Chicago and managed to pull something out of the hat and came up the winner. When I got announced as a winner, it was definitely I, I definitely didn't know what to think. I, I thought that was a long shot from the beginning and it was really surprising that I actually come through and win. Um, the, the thing that I think sold me is I was just really enjoying and, and just having a good time up there. I thought it was really good. 
you, what you can expect from me at Lollapalooza next week is just a, a good time. I'm going to play some good tunes and try and get everyone dance for the rest of the day. You've got a really good elite uh, number of DJs playing in the festival and it, I think that I'm just going to try and set up the rest of the day for everyone to be in a good vibe and ready to have a good time.